Welcome back to the Nerd Militia. Today we're talking about my most anticipated movies or DC movies coming up 2021, ranked by my excitement because, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's jump into this. All right, guys, so number five on this list is going to be Black Adam. Um, I'm super excited to see where we uh, go from here or what The Rock does with this character. It's The Rock. He's going to do some awesome shit with it. Um, I, I am kind of on the fence about it. Uh, I've seen The Rock's movies. They are great. But if you've seen Hobbs and Shaw, like, if this motherfucker Hobbs is, like, hanging on to, like, helicopters with his hands, helicopters and cars with his hands, God can only imagine what he's going to do to freaking Black Adam. Like, this guy's going to be picking up moons and shit. Like, uh, you know, I'm a little bit worried for it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see who's going to play um, the Avatar for Black Adam. Um, but yeah, man, uh, I, that's number five, Black Adam. <laughs> so Black Adam is supposed to be coming out uh, December 22nd uh, of this year. Don't know if that's going to happen, but so far that's where it's slated for. Moving on to The Batman. Um, again, like, it was kind of a toss-up between Black Adam and the Batman, who was going to take the number five spot. Um, but the Batman seems to be one of those productions that are constantly in trouble. Like, it, they can't seem to, uh, get their shit together, it doesn't seem. Uh, I, I don't know. I think the concept on paper sounds amazing. Um, the trailers looked amazing. But it doesn't seem like they could get their shit together. Uh, and out of the sure legend of making this film makes me want to see this film. It sounds so much like a hot mess that, like, I just, I've got to see this now. Um, by no means does this mean that I'm going to accept Patterson as the new Batman. I don't think he will be the new Batman. I think, uh... Uh, in true Warner Brothers fashion, um, and like if you saw my last video about the Zack Snyder thing, it's no longer uh, a four-part series. It's going to be a full-ass movie, um, a full-ass four-hour movie. Um, much like in DC's nature, I believe they're going to return the reins back to Snyder and shit's going to be reworked again. So, I don't know, I thought this is going to... The, this is gonna be a thing. Also, I know we were they we were, but I know Warner Brothers were banking on this kind of multiverse type of deal. Um, at this point, they've taken too long and they've trusted the wrong people. I think they need to ditch that idea because Marvel's gonna come out and Marvel's gonna do it ten times better, even though DC had the hit start. That's another video. <laughs> but yeah, the Batman is number four. Now we're supposed to get we were supposed to get that. Like, I think, what, 2020 and, and in 2021? However, that's been pushed back now in this, like, from, uh, from the date of this video back to March 4, 2022. So I, I know it technically should not be on this list. However, it was. So, yeah, uh, 2022 will probably be number five. Number three will, would be The Batman The Long Halloween. Now, a lot of movies uh, have taken a lot. Well, not a lot, but a couple of movies have taken... Um, um, some pieces from this comic book uh, Nolan did and supposedly the Batman will but now we're getting the animated series and this isn't an adaptation as a matter of fact when DC announced this they said it's going to be the most direct page to, to, to film or animation and it was so much so that it's been broken up into two films so you will get the long Halloween part one and the long Halloween part two there's not an exact date for this for these films although we know we're getting them this part one the summer of 2021 and part two the fall of 2021 so look out for that number two what I'm looking forward to DC is the Suicide Squad again if not to see the success or what could have been and where this fits in the mess that is the DCEU. Personally, I think if Zack does move forward with, and again, I keep saying this is for another video, but personally, I think if Zack does move forward with his vision that he should ditch Harley Quinn and put in Punchline in his thing because at this point, uh, and this applies to the Suicide Squad, but at this point, 
Harley has been so far removed from the Zack Snyder world that there's really no point in keeping her around in that world. But I'm excited to see where this film fits in the mess of the DCEU, how this coincides. Or are they going to really try to part ways, much like Patty Jenkins did with the Wonder Woman from Zack's world and the Wonder Woman in her world are being two completely different people. In number one, you probably already guessed it, you know it, it's going to be Zack Snyder, uh, the Snyder Cut, right, uh, the Director's Cut, or whatever you want to call it, that is number one. Now, I have spent a lot of time on this channel trashing Zack Snyder, and I, and I, and I stick by what I, what I said, however, things that are coming to light kind of makes it seem like I was in the wrong. I judged the book by its cover, maybe I didn't have all the pieces, maybe I was judging him because some of his past movies weren't that great. And maybe I thought he shit the bid. Maybe I was tired of there needing to be an exclusive director's cut in order for me to get the actual story that Zack Snyder was trying to tell. And I'm talking about, I'm, I'm looking at you, uh, the ultimate edition of BVS that still wasn't that great. Maybe it was all of that. However, what Zack Snyder has released and what has come out through the news, through the dirt sheets and all that, does seem to be a cohesive movie. It seems that like, or it seems that we were robbed. We were made to think that Zack Snyder was a has-been who didn't know what he was doing. That the studio had been fucking with him the whole time. Well, I'm excited, and I'm definitely excited now that we know it's a four-hour movie. It's no longer a series. It's get out of here. You're out. You're gone. So I'm excited for that, and I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to dip that in, in the fucking broth and just eat it up. I cannot wait. Anytime I can get Jared Leto back. Anytime I can get Ben Affleck back. Everybody else can go suck a dick. Damn it, I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> but those are the people who made th these movies great for me. And I'm excited to see where we go from here. Because, guys, we've got to get a Justice League too. This movie's going to be gangbusters. HBO's going to get so many subscriptions off this, it's fucking bananas. So, guys... Those are my five excited, uh, well, I guess those are like five movies that I'm super excited for that are coming down the DC pipeline. Let me know if I missed any of your excitement, any movies that you're excited for in the comments. And as usual, guys, uh, stay excellent and thanks for stopping by.